I'ma do the what damn is he thing out of his home, mind or out of his jail time. You better move, homie. Didn't you hear that? Hear what? The noise in his room. You should have closed the window. For what? He's calling you. Talk to him. I'm reading. You know, sometimes I just, I just don't. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. You wanna know what my thoughts are? Oh, that's right. I have no thoughts. That's right, baby. Mm -hmm. That is your baby. Open it up. <laughs> the car stalled out again yesterday. I thought you got it fixed. George. George. I heard you. Look, I'll have my brother take another look at it, okay? Good. Could you do that? Because I prefer that none of the tires be the same size. Or they don't a lot of me again. You know, every time we give it to him, it comes back with a new issue. Well, you know, you can't beat the price. You pay peanuts, you get monkeys. Or in this case, a brother-in-law who can't tell a car engine from a barbecue grill. You really should buy a car. Oh, shut up! Is that how you treat me after I've covered for you? When have you ever covered for me? Well, remember that time? I know that time when you, I mean. Oh, and what time was that? Mm, I pulled your name for Secret Santa last year. <laughs> you bought me a slim fast. It was the creamy delight. And if I'm such a bad person, then why did you call me to let me know you were going to be late? Because I was desperate. Hmm. Um, did you print those files for me? No. I should have known. <clears throat> Thank you! Thank you so much, you're a lifesaver. Hmm. I, I covered for you, but he's fishing for something. If I were you, I would do all my business. Really? Why would the, the pit boss want to see me? Linda said you were at court this morning. How'd it go? Ah, uh, continued. What's the rest of your schedule look like? Um, let me see. It, I have it, to be it doesn't really matter, right? I need to see you in my office now. Okay, well, let's. You just grab all the case files and I will... Two minutes.
don't think it's such a good idea keeping him waiting. I know. Okay, I know that, but I must have fucked up somewhere or else he wouldn't want to see me, right? Maybe it's because you've been late. Hmm. Maybe, but I, I don't think so. I know you weren't in court this morning. I've been looking for you. Looking? Since Saturday evening. What? What for? This stays here. Okay. Fine, whatever. Lynn Besh. Two and a half months ago, her, her daughter was abused. We closed that. Yeah, you closed it. She's in intensive care. Boston Med. The... She, um asked for you before she went into a coma. She also told the doctors that uh, her husband beat her after you taught her how to defend herself. Tell me you did not tell a battered woman to fight back. She won't write him back. A kid smile in the picture, looking yeah. photogenic. She do it all so they can have just what she didn't. Everything that you're doing this life comes around. Hope you're doing it right. Do it once, it's gonna come back twice. Twice as strong, you can reap what you sow. And some time you gotta pay what you owe. You ain't know everything that you're doing this life comes around. Hope you're doing it right. Do it once, it's gonna come back twice. Twice as strong, you can reap what you sow. And some time you gotta pay what you owe. You ain't know. Hello. Hey, um, I'm at Liz Pizzato, I'm from Yeah, and it's pretty bad, George, but it's always broken. What do you mean, whispered by, by the chicken place? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah. don't, don't let them fix it, okay? I want to get a second opinion from my brother. Oh, George, really? He's asleep, why? Yeah, he would be asleep at a, a, a car repair shop, wouldn't he? Huh? Huh? Well, then why were you whispering? Just come get me, you hear that? Thank <laughs> you. 
I thought you were going to be outside. I was on my way out. What? Oh, come on now, let's go. What? Go, go! You were kidding, you get the door for me? I'm pushing the stroller, aren't I? gotta say. I know, and I, I love him. 
I just wish he was. I just wish he could hear, you know. I, I, I just wish he could be normal. Shoot. I wish I didn't have to go around shoveling shit every day in the subway just to keep our head above water. I can work to help out. Oh, hell no. Ain't no wife of mine gonna be going around working for some, some, some rich people's houses, their mansions. She was coming home talking about rich wines and, 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 and rich foods and rich cars. I'm a nurse. See, there you go with that again, all right? They go bringing that up again. Look, I, I, I may not have no college education, but I can provide for this family, right? Look, in a conversation, Hey, Harry, wait up. Dennis? Okay. Now is not a good time. Hey, I just missed you, that's all. It's been one of those days. Well, maybe you can use the company. So, do you think you'll get fired? I'm 
Well, you know, Harry, there isn't such thing as a second chance. See, that's your problem. You think too much. <laughs> you know, I won't believe you. I mean, you haven't given me any play in like six months. And you're not getting any play either. Wow, this is hot. You know, I remember you liking it. Look, I don't think you should be alone right now. All right. Hey, I promise to be uh, on my best behavior, keep my hands to myself, and everything. Scout dogs. to let you sleep and to keep him quiet I gave him some candy I was just trying to wipe it off his face
tests are more sensitive than when you were children. Who are you? Hello. It's almost my break, but my supervisor said I had to come up here. Is that the death class pool? My best friend off the last school was death. I signed a letter. Good. Tell them my name is Dr. Callie and that her regular doctor's on vacation. Now wait, you're signing too fast, slow, so I can understand you. He says they are deaf, I think. Yes, I know. What's wrong? Can I go now, doctor? It's my break time. One second, young lady. If you left now, you'd be doing this couple a great disservice. Whatever. Ask them if they would like another hearing test because the first one we did was inconclusive or if they want to wait until the child's older. What did she say? I think she said she doesn't want the kid, baby, and she blames you. They don't want the child? I understood that. He says he wants us to leave. I, I don't need to deal with this. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't mind. Yeah. Well, thank you for setting the alarm and programming the coffee maker this morning. Yeah, I kind of miss having you around. Oh, yeah. well, call me later. Oh, um, actually, I'm going to be at the hospital in the afternoon. The wall of the pain that I may bring is still my baby. When I sit back and think of what you mean to me, I get all misty. Locked down for a while, you was right there with me. While others putting me down, you was right there to defend me. Can I go now? Before you go, write down your name and number. If I need you to confirm that you threatened me. I can see that. You know, just when I think I've seen it all. That father was aggressive in there. Yeah. I'm not going back in. Where's a hospital social worker? She's out on the picket line. Page for a social worker and then call social services and see if they can send over a worker that can handle these people. Okay. Well, officer, you have my card. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and one more thing that'll be small. I think you should put a man on your door. He might be stupid enough. You think so? How do I get that done? She's the worst I've seen and still alive. So, a pretty woman like you alone in this city, you gotta be careful that with who you love. Right. Right. I'm serious there, pretty lady. Translator, but 
can tell when a mother is not bonding with her newborn. Hello, Miss Whispers. Do you need anything? Do you need something to drink? Did anybody take your blood pressure? Drink? Okay, where's the in-house worker? She's on the picket line. Is there any talk of an adoption plan? Not that I know of. So you're telling me this woman intends to abandon her child? Yes, it's a very simple matter for these people. They're very close-knit, don't like outsiders. Essentially, the child would be a... Okay, because he's hearing? Did they tell you that? Listen, little lady. I can call somebody from your office to fix this, if you can't handle it. What's the name of your direct supervisor? It's abandonment. Look, I had three mothers walk out on me last month for no reason. It happens. Teresa! I'm coming, Mabel! Oh, I have to check on the umbers, baby. Let's not hurt me. I'll be right back! The name of your supervisor? Your supervisor's name? Hey! Okay. 
what's the prognosis? I can have someone bring her children up. Yes, the older ones. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> We didn't take the child. They told one of our doctors and a hospital employee that they plan to abandon the child. Doctor, the doctor probably has just services without trying to communicate. Now wait a second, we had a translator. ASS certified, same as definite? Well, not exactly. That's obvious. You sent a little girl to help with this medical information. And so I guess it would be clear. Do you have a time to run that? Well, yes, we do. Chinese? Of course we have. Wait? Yes, I believe we do. We need Chinese, Portuguese. I see your point. You sent a teenager who have no interpreting skill whatsoever to communicate with them. And they thought, she thought that they want to abandon their child. There's no proof in that. It's in the courtroom, Mr. Grayson. Maybe for you it's not. But you need to contact the department to withdraw the complaint. I'm afraid we can't do that. You see? I'm sorry, I'm late. Perfect timing, Miss Moore. We were just going to explain why the hospital could not withdraw the complaint. Oh, oh, no, you can withdraw it. But it wouldn't be wise, would it? For who? Is mic on? It's not obvious. How's my hair? It's good. Are you sure? Looks okay. great. Always right. looks good. Are we ready? Uh, we're ready. Okay. okay. All I need is that one story. You want for Echo over here. All right, we're gonna begin in five, four, three, two, one. This case has garnered strong emotion among the staff here at the hospital. I began to ask patients what they think should have been done and how they think about a woman who would abandon her child because he couldn't hear. Because he could hear. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, you're okay. Go again. That's going Thanks. to the outtakes. <laughs> Hold on, you got a little spinach. Yeah, just... Is it gone? It's, it's gone. Okay. All right, count down from five, four, three, two, one. This case has gone a strong feeling among the staff here at the hospital. I began to ask patients what they think should have been done and how they feel about a mother that would abandon her child because he could hear. And that's this community's response on the issues. Oh, here comes a gentleman here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I assume you've heard of the deaf mother and her baby? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I have. And what are your thoughts on the matter? And remember, this is live television. What do I think? Yes. Well, I see. Oh, okay. I, I see. I see. I see. I know what they're dealing with here. See, you know what I'm saying? It's not like mama don't love a child. But you see, if it's like, uh, you know, a black woman, a black mama, they run to a blonde hair, blue eyed child. You know, like the one that played a serial killer. You know what I'm talking about. What's her name again? Charlie Theron? Char who? Uh, Charlie Theron. No, not her, but, but she white? Yes. Well, good enough, her then, you see. Black mama know that, you know, a white baby can go places she never could. You know what I'm saying? Black mama go into the store, they follow her, but you know what I'm saying, but they give keys to the white baby. But this is a white family that's deaf. Well, we got racism, they got heroes. Same devil, different name. Okay. And this is Martina Forbes, live from Roxbury. Hey, man, um... I've been calling all day. We had two calls. This one, man. Look, I need my car, okay? Oh, 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 
you're a tough guy, huh? It's too bad you can't hear me call you a freaking reject. Hey, hey, yo, forget about this place, man, okay? The service sucks. Here. Your client decided to give up their baby. <sighs> Even if we can see that it might have been a misunderstanding, your clients should have had an interpreter with them. Oh, from the victim, Dr. Vigilant. What we mean is, if we pull back this complaint, we could receive pressure to review other instances where we referred our patients to social services. You believe leave everything out in the open? We're more allowed to deploy lies? Twice as strong, you can reap what you sow. Get some time, you gotta pay what you owe. You ain't know everything that you do in this life comes around. Hope you're doing it right. Do it once, it's gonna come back twice. Twice as strong, you can reap what you sow. Get some time, you gotta pay what you owe. You ain't know. 
Will they get custody? Well, let's deal with that when we know for sure. No, we'll deal with this now because it's important now. My daughter's going to die. Is that what you're trying to tell us? Well, um, Mrs. Leonard, I. I didn't bring my grandchildren down here for no show. They've been lied to enough. I need you, no, you need to be honest with them. It's unlikely that your daughter is I heard what the doctor said, and I know they've tried everything, but it's the system that I'm not confident can do its job protecting my grandchildren. Do you understand that, Miss Moore? Everything that you do in this life comes around, hope you're doing it right. Do it once, it's gonna come back twice. Twice as strong, you can reap what you sow. And sometimes you gotta pay what you owe. You ain't know everything that you do in this life comes around, hope you're doing it right. You know what? I was thinking I could take Titus to the park. You know, so you so you get some rest. And get your hair done. Relax a little bit. But what do you think? Yeah, maybe. Good. And then we're going to leave early so you don't have to worry about anything. Okay? But I didn't say yes, no. I don't I don't need my hair done. Let's just set us in the car. What's the status on the car? You hear how you sound? Listen, the car is the car is broke, okay? Just like everything else you broke around here. Excuse me? It's my fault? Yeah. It's your fault that we didn't uh, uh, do genetic counseling. Okay? It's your fault that we had him. What the fuck are you talking about, George? How did you get from the car to genetic counseling? Look, just forget it, alright? No. Let's not forget it. Let's try to figure out why since the doctors told you, your perfect little boy you dreamt of all your life can't hear. Poof. There goes your dream of a star athlete. You see, I knew you wouldn't understand. What? That you're a selfish bastard? Well, hold on, hold on now. It's selfish because I want me a normal kid? Cause I want a normal kid, huh? That I don't want somebody that's gonna be called a retard every freaking day of his life. That's fucking selfish. You know what, George, you're right. It's not selfish. It's just plain stupid. We are writing our position brief now. Well, we'll be in touch. Grace, have you turned everything in? Yes. Why do you keep asking me that? Well, we'll be in touch, Mr. Lynch. I thought I had you trained better. How was I supposed to know? I remember you saying... No, I know what I said. Thank you. Okay, what's next then? You drew two short straws, Harry. I really thought I could protect you, but you're in case review. A decision's being made about your termination. I am sorry. The doctor told me they did not want their child. I've done a dozen of these. I followed procedure. Harry, it's out of my hands. If the best case wasn't... Harry, I, I just find myself asking one question. Why didn't you get an interpreter?
Yes. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking for that. Uh, that death lawyer. But I would like to have a quick push him in. I'm looking for him. Oh, the um, the one that the uh, parents who don't want their kid. I mean, on the TV. Yes, on TV. Uh, that the future collection collection is gone. Um, I I could wait. Yes, sure. That's it, Steve.
talk to you about. We just found out that Titus is deaf. I mean, well, well pretty much deaf. Titus? Yeah, my, my, my son. Well, be deaf, not against my race, but I don't know how to blow with each of his lips. Well, um, see, I was thinking that, I was thinking that we could, um, trade. Cause? No, kids. Yeah, trade kids. Yeah, it's just, well, see, I was thinking, you know, if they got a normal baby, and you know, like we got a we got a deaf baby, so maybe we could just, maybe we could just trade. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm uh, Mr. Tarula. I'm, I'm, I'm George Tarula. Mr. Tarula, I'm big drinking. No, drink no. Does your wife know you're here? No, no. She, she doesn't know. But that's the problem. Well, there's many, many problems with twenty kids. Look, man. My marriage is destroyed, okay? And I'm desperate to do whatever I can to get it back to the way it was before I... You go to marriage counseling. And you just don't come here to give up your baby. Do you think you have a problem? Look, man. My wife... My wife loves kids. Okay, she's a, she's a good mom. All right? And besides, the, those those people, they didn't even want their kid. Right? Mr. Swing, what did you expect? I faced them with discrimination. Without the hospital, they never bothered to find it anyway. No sign language. But that didn't say to give up their baby. What? What are you talking about? The, that doctor in the, in the, in the interview, I, I... No. And I saw it. No. No, no. 
You trying to tell me that? The, you trying to tell me that those people weren't trying to trying to give up their kid? Well, what about the the, the, the papers and everything? That. Are you okay? Nah. Oh man. I'm Look, I'm 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 sorry, Mr. Grayson. Um Well thank goodness. <laughs> we have two letters to the lies when you were trying to do. But I hope you were serious. Oh my God! I, I, I think, no, I think we, we, yeah. I think we should go. Um. Thank you. You said don't remember me? Yeah. How can I forget the man that's suing to get me fired? Yeah, forget the man that's suing to get me We got the stuff that you sent and you and my supervisor, and we think that life support would probably be the best. <laughs> Cheat me. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, it's another case. Um, okay, we got the information that you sent and um, spoke to the doctor, Dr. Kelly. And he signed an affidavit stating that the couple intended to abandon their baby. For medical reasons. What medical reasons? Well, to be fair, the rules do apply to handicapped people who abandon healthy children. We just never thought it would happen. That hasn't happened. Well, that's not an interpretation. You can't let them not see their own child. Well, we feel better if somebody wants with them. I'm sorry, she died this morning at 3 a.m. We tried to call you. The mother's here now trying to make arrangements for her body. Thank you, nurse.
It was a cold November 76, a 19-year-old girl gave birth to a prince. The doctor said push, but I want to stay in. I guess I knew my new world just wouldn't make no sense. I was born on the 13th, my childhood, nobody can hurt me. My mama told me, Joe, are you worthy of everything the world can see? Just believe in the chief, stay cool and keep the ace up your sleeve. These wicked women will test you, make friends, but don't let nobody stress you. When you hear a sneeze, remember, say bless you. Because every time you sneeze, the heart skip, the world is Heartless, you find love, you better be smart, kid. Cause love is the only thing. Forget what the money bring. Even though you get scars, remember they heal again. The scars just remind you of the pain and never to do the same. Mama told me there'll be days when it rains, and I love her. No media whatsoever. Miss Moore, can you arrange the visit? Why are you asking me that? The child is still here. Why, baby? Okay, um, I have plans. I'm sorry. I, I have to work. I can't stay. Right there with me, while others putting me down, you was right there to defend me. Pops 
left and came back, said don't hold them against me. Prepare me for the world, said son, follow your instinct. Be real to yourself, babe, don't bother pretending. Can't make them all happy, but keep the purest intentions. And God see it all, so you better watch how you live. And I'm a grown man now that makes a careful decision. Because of you, I will never beat on my women. Got so much advice that I follow your intuition. If you need me, I'll be there in an instance, matter of minutes. And I must admit it, I whip it through every sentence. How you sacrifice your life for the betterment of your children, miss. Tony Nickerson, my living hero. Every time I'm down and out, these the words I hear, though. Wherever you go, no matter I want, you still my baby. Hey. Yeah, don't talk to Yeah. You look good. No, I don't. You had me kink this About what? That I was a bratty, snobby, first year law student who made a fool out of herself? Was that true? Sorry for what? Try to get me out of law school. You try to make me ignore me. Avoid my friends' lives. Oh yeah. I guess you were the only one telling me that having your turban was chilly. Drive to your stand. Do you have to leave? I hope you should. Hey, good afternoon, Judge Shorten. Clerk's office, please. Hospital Tammy Carla. <laughs> yes, I'm checking on the status. Really? Okay, that's brilliant. Thank you. Judge Shorten just signed a temporary custody order, giving the doctors custody. Listen, he can put it. Maybe I should have hired him. Where are the lawyers from social services? Out of position at this point. family, he's got them totally ticked off. They're not budging. Okay. I've seen our point, I mean, the legal department's point of view on the case, and I really think that we have a chance to make it right. I mean... How's Dennis? What? Not what does that have to do with any of this? What? Look, he just called. He's been leaving messages all over the switchboard, and look, I don't usually get into this kind of stuff, but... You know, sometimes with your buddies you talk and, and he's telling me he's worried about you. Um, Dennis, can we just... Can okay, fine. If you don't want to talk about it, that you're right. It's awkward, but there is no way legal is going to allow any communication with the Besh family, okay? Or, uh, but like Dennis, I may have introduced you, but look, this is your personal thing, and you've, you've got to 
wrap it up. My dad is driving here, I'm um, no dance school, it was safe, so I used to go to public school. Oh yeah, I took my collar down there, it was just so many time on the way home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. Uh, so, Ellen, um, if you were my collar, why Hypothetically. Yes, of course. Hypothetically. What would we be doing about this? Well, let me say, I worked up a pretty big appetite watching you guys work out. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay. Oh, you know what? I really enjoy listening to music in the bookstores on those big clunky headphones. I get lost for hours. Maybe we can go listen to them. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, I like music. Really? How do you... Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. No. Um, I just live around the corner, so why don't you just drop by and change my clothes? I can grab my dad when I go to public school. And that's not going to be a good idea. Okay. 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 Oh, I think I should um,
something like this, but it's about time you go and let that hair down. When I was a little boy, I was petrified of being alone. I was always alone. But every night, my mother used to tell me this story about all these creatures under the sea, the marriage, dolphins, whales, and this huge mountain. known with its blessed eyes. But one day there was a huge flood coming by the shoreline. But the weak people knew. But they used the ears. So they used the hand and communicate or eye for the words and the part. They came to a land to run, but they didn't listen. So they had to do something. So they had to figure a way how to run the land throughout it. That it didn't run coming, you know. So they came up one day. But these people came and so alive. But remember, they can have it like reading his time. Oh, there's a blood coming, you know. Mm -hmm. So when they came out land, they created a language using their hand with a human being. Like he. I would never forget the story. Yeah. 
empty. Take a seat. We have carefully reviewed your cases since you started. Uh, and I'd like to ask a question before we begin. Ms. Moore, we have your resume here. Why did you not finish law school? I don't see how that's relevant. Well, it's relevant, Ms. Moore, with respect to your understanding of the complexities involved in running a facility that cares for families and children. Please answer the question. This is stupid. If you're gonna fire me, then fire me, okay? Ms. Moore, we are not done with you yet. It would be disadvantageous for you to leave. A multi-million dollar, as a matter of fact, there is the real potential for a second legal action pending against this agency because of your choices. I transferred out. It says here that you had some trouble there too. You received an academic demerit for harassment of a deaf student? Yes, a but I can... student. I can explain that. Miss Moore, please allow me to finish my, my statements completely. If I need a response from you, I'll ask. Uh, agreed. Who was I? Um, mm. Oh, a fellow student, not named, probably to protect him from further harassment. It was a male. Yes. I see now. Ms. Moore, if we know this information, don't you think the other side knows as well? Your actions, excuse me, your choices in the past and in this incident creates a pattern. A pattern that suggests that you are insensitive to the needs of people different than you. Oh, okay. I've had about enough of this. The doctor informed me that the couple intended to abandon their baby. The doctor denies ever making that statement, and he claims that you spoke with a nurse that confused the information. What? No. No. I spoke to him directly. We don't see a complaint for or any other documentation for that fact. The only form we have here is your statement. I just finished working on another case. I was only there because they asked me to be there. All the other workers were on strike. Yes, yes, please, calm down, Ms. Moore. And I suppose by this other case, you're referring to Lynn Besh. Yes, I had just finished working. Please, please, Ms. Moore. That case is being formally deposed. I recommend that you get an attorney before you comment any further. Fine. Ms. Moore, although we feel that you were acting within the powers granted to you, and we feel though the hospital is publicly blaming us for this, they are handling it internally, they're going to take it all the way, and at this time, we have not found just cause to terminate you at this time. Oh, and Ms. Moore, I almost forgot. The department has decided to go for supervision in the Whisper Baby case. You are to argue placement in a foster home with a plan in six months post supervision back in the home. Because you're the perfect woman for the job. <laughs> what? That's bullshit. I was just doing my job. You people are trying to hurt this family. I'm not doing it. Well, if you don't do it, or if you quit, you will lose the protection of this agent. For any damages brought against us in this or in the Bash case. And you're just sitting there letting them do this, right? This meeting is adjourned until further investigation. Ms. Moore, we find that I move to have your status stay the same. That went well. You see your shoes? Girl, those are hot. I like your shoes. Oh, well, thank you. I wasn't sure if it was my style. Yeah, that's <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna grab some lunch. You wanna come?
I know who's in the boy. They got up the whole hospital thing, and you, and this case, and another case. It's in the past. I'm all right. I thought I was too. I need to tell you something. Well, it's about calling my Mr. Spirit. I will handle it. I know it's going to look odd. You know? Ah, where have you been? It's not like it's written a temporary or anything. You just made a mistake. Right? You just made a mistake, and you know that you got the baby back. Grace! What's the problem? It doesn't matter. Not a thing. Okay, don't you fucking think I know that? I, of all people, know that this is not a game. A woman I was supposed to protect, I was supposed to protect her children. She's dead because of me, because of something I told her. And now? And now? I wonder if three people ever got homesick. What is going on with your parents? I wonder, because they couldn't get all the bad shit, is that the reason why they stayed? You know, they couldn't hear what the people were saying about them. But I don't know, but it's just a fairy tale. I started calling myself Harry after my mother died because it sounded tough, tougher than Grace. You know, that was my mother's name. Harry, where have you been? I heard what's going on, man. Is everything all... Um, Brandeis, uh, this is, uh, this is Dennis. This is my, this is my boyfriend, Dennis. Well, that's, it was, that's nice meeting you, Dennis. I don't sit down, maybe. Yeah, sure, dude. Hey, great to meet you. Any friend of Harry is a friend of mine. Did someone stop the recorder? You miss more of your poses? All parties are here. The whispers attorney, the hospital's representatives, and the Department of Social Services. Would the department like to make a statement? Um, no, not at this time. You gave the impression that you had a recommendation for this. Fine, I'll read the results then. Three physicians, the geneticists, and the physical exam have concluded that the child Solomon Whisper is deaf. He carries the genetic marker that both of his parents have. <laughs> We apologize for our apologies to the family who defer social services. I was the one that it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that Mr. and Mrs. Whisper can take their Oh, I'm not to myself. Thank you.
it's been a while since you did something like this, but it's about time you're going to let that hair down. Said you let it Oh, it's like 